Welcome. The topic of this lesson is Angles of Elevation and Depression. Lesson duration remains 5 minutes. Let's see our lesson objectives. By the end of this lesson, you should be able to 1. Distinguish between horizontal and vertical surfaces. 2. Determine the angle of elevation of points above the horizontal. 3. Determine the angle of depression of points below the horizontal. Let us now discuss horizontal and vertical surfaces. A horizontal surface or line is parallel to the surface of the Earth. This simply means that a horizontal line moves either from left to right or across a surface. For example, this is a horizontal number line. Also, the top surface of a table is a horizontal surface. However, a vertical surface or line is perpendicular to the horizontal surface. This simply means that a vertical line goes up or down a horizontal surface. For example, here is a vertical number line. Also, the legs of a table are all vertical surfaces. That's amazing. Now, let us discuss the angle of elevation. Let's take a look at the image on the board. The boy looks in a horizontal direction to the tower. But, when he wants to see his friend at the top of the tower, he raises his line of sight to do this. Now, the angle formed while raising his eyesight is called the angle of elevation. Therefore, angle of elevation is the angle formed between the line of sight and above the horizontal line. That's very good. Let us also discuss the angle of depression. Let us also take a look at the image on the board. The man looks in a horizontal direction into the distance. But when he wants to look at his cat sitting on the grass, he lowers his line of sight to do this. Now, the angle formed while lowering his eyesight is called the angle of depression. Therefore, angle of depression is the angle formed between the line of sight and below the horizontal line. That's very good. Let us now see how to measure angles of elevation and depression. To measure angles of elevation and depression, we use a simple instrument called a clinometer. Below is an image of a clinometer. Notice that it is made up of a scale protractor, a pen tube for viewing objects, and a string or line attached with a mass or weight. Now, to use the clinometer, we choose a target object. Then we look through the pen tube attached to the protractor to the target object. The angle to which the string is positioned in the scale protractor becomes the angle of elevation of the target object. Note that the largest angle of elevation or depression is 90 degrees and it is the same with objects which are either vertically above or below an observer. That's wonderful. Now, pause this video, copy these assignments, and solve them in your notebook. In summary, we have learned the following in this lesson. 1. The difference between horizontal and vertical surfaces. 2. How to determine the angle of elevation of points above the horizontal and 3. How to determine the angle of depression of points below the horizontal. I hope you enjoyed the class. See you in the next lesson. Thanks and goodbye.